loved one has been charged with a crime. And you're probably asking yourself this if you're watching this video. Where do I turn and who do I call? Hi, I'm Sean Hamp. I'm a criminal defense trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of Arizona. Hiring a criminal lawyer is not like any other type of legal services that you will go out and research and retain. Um, usually, lots of people use lawyers every day. Um, they use them for bankruptcy or family law cases. Um, very common to hire an attorney. But hopefully, for you at least, it's not a common occurrence to have to hire a criminal lawyer every day. So it's not the type of thing that you can just ask your family and friends for referrals unless you happen to have a lot of families and friends that get charged with crimes. But usually that's not the case. So you're going to have to do some research to find a good criminal lawyer. Uh, the first place that I would recommend that anyone go to is to the local bar website. And for Arizona, that's the Arizona State Bar. Um, they're at azbar.org. Um, that's the first place I would look because when you go to that website, you can type in criminal lawyer, you can type in uh, the jurisdiction that they're in. Uh, I'm in Kingman, Arizona. You can look up a criminal lawyer in Kingman. You can look one up in Phoenix, Tempe, Flagstaff, and they should have criminal lawyers that are in that area that you can start to look at and start to research. Um, one of the good things about the Arizona Bar website is that they also have their um, attorney discipline record is on display. If there's no suspensions or probations for the attorney, it's going to show up there um, on the Arizona Bar website. Now, it's not complete information, but it is a start. Um, the Arizona Bar website will also have any um, records of malpractice insurance. So if someone does carry malpractice insurance, it will say that and usually a responsible attorney will have malpractice insurance. It's just a prudent thing to do. You also have the year that that person was admitted to the state bar and that will give you an idea of how much experience that lawyer has and also it will uh, describe what practice specialties that that attorney has. So you could find an attorney and all they do is criminal law like myself. Or you could find another attorney and maybe they do criminal law and bankruptcy or criminal law and family law. You can kind of find out how much of their practice area is focused on a particular area. The other um, website that I would suggest that you go visit is a website called avo.com. And avo.com is a, an attorney directory that's uh, it's fairly new in the past few years. And Avo.com attempts to rate every single attorney uh, based on public records and give them an, a rating assignment. And those assignments are based on discipline history and years of experience and industry recognition. Um, it will also have a great outline of some attorneys' profiles that have a nice resume about their background and experience. So that's a good place to, to look and at least have a start. Um, it will list um, their experience, where they've worked at, where they went to law school, things like that. But one thing I would really suggest you look at, and what the bulk of AVO's ratings are based on, is industry recognition and referrals from other attorneys. So if you go on there and you see that um, other attorneys from similar practice areas recommend this attorney, that's probably the highest compliment a fellow attorney can give to another attorney is to say that they recommend them. So I'm on avo.com myself. You can find my profile there. And I'm very proud of the recommendations that my colleagues have given me um, over the years. So that's another site I would suggest that you go to. And then once you start to find some candidates that you want to research and want to meet with, I would suggest calling those attorneys. Um, you're going to find out real quickly which attorneys are going to be responsive to your needs, which ones are going to have the best organized staff to deal with your situation. You know, you're going to find out real quick which attorney really wants to meet your, your services. Um, I would suggest that you schedule a meeting, you talk with the staff, and then ultimately 
gauge your comfort level with that attorney. And that is ultimately what you have to do is, is trust yourself and trust that you have a good connection or relation with that attorney. So most attorneys give a free consultation or they'll at least have a low cost introductory meeting and you that's the best way you're going to get a gauge of whether you think you can work with an attorney um, ultimately. So I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps in some small way. Um, I'd like you to watch my other videos on YouTube that we posted and if you ever have any questions and feel free to give us a call uh, 928-753-6868 and always feel free to visit my website at hamplaw.com.